And here to represent EG&E is Kenneth Knight, the company president, along with his lawyer, Leland Thompson, and PR executive, Jack Reynolds. <laughs> The commissioners who will judge the cases presented are Chairperson Gilda Hoffman, one-time municipal politician and right-to-life activist. Along with deputies Leonard Wilcox, a political appointee. It's a circus. What do they think this is? A democracy. And Matthew Clark, a Democratic candidate in the state gubernatorial race. This is the time and place set for the hearing in the matter of the application of the Eastern Electric and Gas Company for authority to increase rates. <laughs> Settle down, please. This commission will not tolerate public outbursts. I want that understood. Otherwise, I will order a closed hearing. But that's not fair, Your Honor. Is the applicant ready to proceed? We are, Madam Chairperson. On behalf of Eastern Gas and Electric, I would like to state that an increase in rates is as onerous to us as it is to these concerned citizens gathered here today. Please turn to page three, paragraph nine of the application. our equipment, which was deliberately destroyed by these recent acts of un-American terrorism. <laughs> the only course open to the commission is a rate increase. This is our first and foremost goal. Thank you, gentlemen, for your presentation. Great stuff. I know. And now, as provided by law, the public is invited to test it. Madam Chair Lady, who is in charge here? Is he the boss here? Sir, the commission does not regulate the gas company's employment. Your name and so address, they please. They can come and blow me up in the middle of the night. God said, let there be light. But the Eastern Gas and Electric Company says, no. First, let there be a deposit. While the Lord is watching, Mr. Knight, and that is why I'm here today to join our hero, the finger, in saying to you, take your rate increase and... Once again, they are asking you to charge us more money so that they can go away and find new ways to spend more money so that the next time when they are allowed to ask for even more money they will have already spent all of this money well i have a better idea why not give them less money then they'll have to go away and find new ways to spend less money and maybe next time 
they won't have enough money to come here and ask us for any more money. <laughs> You, your service stinks. I waited there for two days, freezing my butt off. All my plants died, and my bird froze to death. What am I supposed to do with a frozen bird? <laughs> oh, Mr. Beaver. Quiet. Testing. Testing. Attention all humans. Attention all humans. Will someone please escort this person from the proceedings? No, he has a right to speak. I just wanted to say that I had eggs this morning. Usually I eat scrambled, but not the runny kind. I don't like the runny kind. I like the dry kind with a little bit of salt, but not too much salt. Just enough to make them taste salty. Will you please get to the point? There is a family of tiny Puerto Rican businessmen living in my kitchen sink. <laughs> Sir, this is irrelevant. This morning I turned around and there were two eggs staring back at me from the skillet. These eggs have been hired by Eastern Gas to keep tabs on me. How do you know they're out to get you? I know because when I put my utility bills in the toaster, they catch fire and try to burn me. I think we've heard enough from this raving lunatic. And that's why we should take all of America's static electricity and put it into this sweater and send it into space so that we won't suffer from any more static cling. Is it any wonder that people like him go insane trying to make sense of the bills, the bureaucratic breakdowns, the unjustified rate increases? That's right. That's what I was trying to say. I'm not a dinosaur. That concludes the public testimony. Bob, that's it. If you don't do something now, it's We can good. proceed. It's finished. The commission call a vote to the proposition before us. Keep it going. Mr. Wilcox. Uh, uh, wait a second. Wait a second. I've got something to say. Um, when I uh, first started over. working for the social services offices... The public testimony is I, over. One of my first clients was an 84-year-old... You are out of order. Removed from this room, and you do not stop okay. immediately. Hey, hey, come on, let him speak. Give him a chance, let him speak. Let him speak. Or I become a real pain in the ass. Proceed, Mr. Hunt. I am the finger. I sabotage Eastern Gas and Electric Company's billing computers. Mr. Hunt, are you aware that you're incriminating yourself? I also sabotage the phone company, but I never blew up any substations, and I never did anything violent. Wait a minute, hold it. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know a computer from a dictaphone. I masterminded the whole thing. I'm the finger. I tell you, I'm the finger. Neither one of them are telling the truth. I am the real finger. And I, I am the hand behind the finger. Quiet. Quiet. I tell you, I'm the finger. Listen, listen, I appreciate what you're all doing. But we are all liars. She is the finger. Whether or not. Any one of you is the finger. Is irrelevant to this commission. And it's irrelevant to the Eastern Gas and Electric Company that an old woman died. To them, she was a lousy 5877. Now that's libelous. I request the chairperson to order him to step down. Oh, you'd like to ram this thing right through, wouldn't you? Before 8 o'clock. Before the lights go out. You say that that's the end of public testimony. Well, it's not. It's out there. At 8 o'clock tonight, when the city's lights go out, that's the final testimony. 
Those lights won't go out. <laughs> Those lights will keep burning the same as every night. Are you afraid to wait until 8 o'clock? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of you and your leaflets? <laughs> You're pathetic. And I challenge you to wait, Knight. Mr. Hunt, with the chair's permission, I accept your little challenge. Would you sit down? <laughs> Reality is setting strong in this hearing room since the initial flush of victory. Now there's a sense of nervous anticipation as these people wonder whether the city will back them up and visually demonstrate their support for this small group's protest on their behalf. These people are afraid. Afraid the lights may not go out at 8 o'clock and that the commissioners will use this moment to back Eastern Gas and Electric in their massive increase. It is 16 seconds before 8 o'clock. The room is still quiet and incredibly, these people are still waiting. 10 seconds to go. 9, 8 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4 seconds, 3, 2, 1. It's 8 o'clock. Well, Mr. Hunt, it's 8 o'clock. Just a minute. The rate increase will be voted on now. Uh, now, wait a minute. No, wait just a minute. Mr. Wilcox, how do you vote? I vote yay. Oh, no, no, no. Mr. Clark. I vote nay. I've got it. I beg your pardon, Madam Chairperson, but I have information that directly relates to this commission. May I remind you that a hearing is in progress? I am a police officer. No one is to leave this room. That is an order. I have an oh, arrest no, to make. no, not again. <laughs> What's going on here? We have evidence on the man who has been blowing up the substations. In his diaries, he refers to himself as a patriot working for a great man, whom he names and who is in this room. And that great man is Kenneth Knight. <laughs> Mr. Knight, you are under arrest. They're actually taking Knight away. The crowd is going wild. Knight is being arrested and taken. Now you see what I'm talking about. This man would sabotage his own substations to manipulate public opinion, to subvert these hearings to achieve his own ends. Please, turn out your lights. Please. Don't you see how important it is? If you don't show them how strong we are, they'll keep doing it again and again. I don't mean for a week or a day, but just for a minute. Just to show them that they can't keep walking all over us. Thank you. 